Alrighty. <coughs> Bubble Bobble. <clears throat> okay, this game takes me back to, let's see, five years old, I want to say. <clears throat> let's see here. And the first time I ever played this game was at a beach club in my town, in my area. And I could hear the music blaring from, I don't know, probably 20, 30 feet away. A bunch of people standing around an arcade machine had no idea what it was. Remember, I'm five years old. So I think I was getting like an ice pop or something from the, uh, from the snack bar. So I walked over and I see I had to play it. <clears throat> so I got some quarters. Because I were, you know, five years old, being an arcade kid. You got quarters on you. And I waited online, got in there, and, like, died on the first board. And as soon as I died, the bigger kids just pushed me out of the way. They were like, get out of here. We want to play this. <clears throat> I didn't even get to use my full my full credits. They were like, we're not going to let this little kid on here. So, um, But as the years went on, and you learn how to actually play the game, you realize that this game is, like, literally 50K of data. 50K. There's nothing to it, but it is chock full of strategy. <clears throat> so I'm going to go through, try to do a high score run. I believe my high score right now is like 2.9 million. That's just on the default settings. It's not no no special mode or <clears throat> no um, changes on the difficulty level. So far as I know, um, the high score I got on there was just the default. So we're going to see how I can do here. I'll do a few runs. Basically, you got to get, like, at least 50 levels without dying in order to get a, a decent high score. And uh, we'll explain that as I go. So let me just set up a few more things. A few more things here, and we will get ready to play some Bubble Wobble. I will be playing on an arcade stick. It's not an arcade stick meant for Bubble Bobble, it's got a, Bubble Bobble has a different type of button, like a different type of push button than um, a fighting game would. Uh, it's a softer button that has a, a little bit um, a more deliberate uh, button press to it. <coughs> Hopefully the clicking will not be too annoying. Let's see. <laughs> All right, get the chat up. Hopefully there'll be some retro gaming heads out there who uh, want to check it out. But we are quarantined, so, well, the world is quarantined right now. And uh, we're going to get some enjoyment out of this. <clears throat> so, let's start. And reminder, the music in this is extremely repetitive, but it is very, very catchy. Uh, and it has been stuck in my head for at least 33 years. So, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, so... Basically, you want to bubble as much as possible. You, you want to break the bubbles as much as possible. You want to jump as much as possible. You want to walk as much as possible. As early on as you can in the game. <clears throat> um, because <clears throat> the every action that you perform in this game is recorded in the system's memory to give you different bonuses. And if you start a fresh game, ooh, that seemed like it. Start a little quick, but I don't know So basically, walking around gives you a bonus. Blowing bubbles gives you a bonus. <clears throat> and I'm gonna try to burst everything I want. And of course, I screwed it up. You know what? I'm gonna reset because that was terrible. <clears throat> I was talking a little bit too much in the beginning there. Alright, I'll try that again. <clears throat> so basically, all of those, all of the actions that you perform add to your bonuses. 
and the bonuses allow you to move faster, bubble faster, you know, things like that, you know, stuff that makes the game um, a little more bearable, because this is very, very slow in the beginning. <laughs> um, and uh, the reason why I'm letting them go all the way to the top of the screen is because you want to burst as many simultaneously as you can because it gives you a higher bonus. And again, these old games are all about high scores. I should be breaking these bubbles, but I'm not paying attention. <clears throat> but if you waste too much time, which just happens right there, I remember that one very well, uh, eventually uh, a whale appears on the screen. I didn't maximize that, by the way. Certain stages have different criteria to uh, get little extra bubble bonuses, so anything will like fall out of the bubbles at the end of the stage gives you extra points. <clears throat> I don't know how to force that on every level, but um, there's a few that I'm aware of that you can do every single time. Some of them, might, like I said, they have different different criteria. So that candy just gives me longer distance bubbling. So as you can see, it's still slow, but going across the screen uh, further, which is good. And there's two other ones, and I think there's one that does all three bonuses at once. <laughs> so this stage you should have like right about almost 50,000 points. Uh, for an optimal run, I'm definitely not going to be near that. And there's an extra line for early on, that's what that sound was. <clears throat> so you're going to see letters start popping up on the screen here. Uh, letters um, spell extend, which gives you an extra life anytime you do that. And it also ends the board where you are. So if you're in big trouble, alright, this bubble makes them go faster. Um, sorry, I should say um, the traveling is faster. Um, so, let them all pile up in the middle, break them all at the same time. I don't think I got that right, did I? Yes, I did. And different fruit bonuses, depending on your bonus, are worth more points. So, if I can't get both of them, I'm going to go for the one that gets me more points. <clears throat> Screw that up a little bit there. Wait for this guy to come back up. Oh, there's the shoes. The shoes speed you up. Now, the letters also don't show up in um, any particular order. Sometimes they'll repeat themselves and try not to break the letters when they're repeated because if you do, they won't come back on the next stage. So that looked like a maximum. Yeah, that was good there. So I should be able to get all of these. Oops, I screwed that up, of course. Should be at like 125,000 right now. This stage is uh, a little bit trickier. You can see there's another X, another E. I already have those. I do need that D right there. Okay, so the yellow makes you bubble faster. So, you can get extra points just by chilling around here, just bubbling, but of course the baddies, as they're called in this, get out of the bubbles faster <clears throat> as you go. Um, until there's like a, like a reset. I'm just going to waste a little bit of time here. Try to strategize this a little better. Um, so those water... Uh, these are water bubbles here. <clears throat> um, which give you higher point bonuses. And also I just screwed up there because this is one of those stages where if you have extra bubbles on the screen when you blow them up, you get bonuses. So definitely short quite a bit here right now. <clears throat> This stage, I like to let them come down to the bottom of the screen because these uh, these ghosts throw little uh, boulders at you. Uh, that candy cane up there will uh, drop a, a high point value uh, bonus at the end, and I want to get extra bubbles here to get more. And that was actually a decent decent run, but I'm about twenty five thousand short right now total where I should be. <clears throat> <laughs> What's up, Summoning? Right, got another blue. Uh, if you get three of the blue candies, it gives you a blue ring, which is a different type of bonus. So you get a bonus for walking around on the screen. You'll see your points just kind of climbing as you're going. Um, you want to get those on stages where it's not too dangerous to allow the whale to come out. <clears throat> like a stage like this, it wouldn't work too good. Um, but it definitely builds up those extra points. So I'm going to try to get these guys all on one side here. they got to go past the halfway point. I'm going to leave that X because I do need uh, more letters going forward. They're about to get out, so I'm going to them up there. 
And that was a good break, because I got all the bonuses. You can see there's different fruit <coughs> for different numbers of enemies that you uh, break at the same time. And these guys go to the middle. And I don't need any of these letters. Let's see what this bonus is here. Alright, so that's a candy cane. Candy cane's going to drop a high value bonus in the middle. Big bonus. Didn't want to do that, but for the sake of expediency here. And that was actually a pretty solid run on this stage. Missed that last fruit there, which was worth the most. <clears throat> this is a little bit trickier stage. So what I usually do is... Let's see what do we got there. So... Uh, there's the T. Now I could get the T and just end the stage, but I'm more focusing on bonus points, although I'm probably going to wind up breaking it unless I use the, uh, the water here. Um, so yeah, my goal here is to... Yeah. Gotta watch out for this guy on the side. And I didn't want to do that, but it was getting a little bit too chaotic in there, so that actually works out to my benefit. So you gotta jump on the bubbles and pop water bubbles like mad. You only have to do that if you want to skip stages. I'm going for a high score. <coughs> um, so if I skip the stages, I'm not gonna get the the free points, basically, that are on each stage. So this one, you want to go... Whoop, didn't really want to do it like that. Of course I screwed it up. Alright, we're resetting. <laughs> Got distracted. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to repeat here. Bubble as much as possible, get your bonuses up, walk around, waste a little bit of time here. You don't have to really be too concerned. Played this so many times that you know how much time you have before they're going to come out of the uh, bubbles and before the whale warning comes up. And there it is. So I'm going to let all the bubbles get to the center, as close as I can. Pop them at once. Get as many bonuses and points as I can. Should be about 25,000. That was a good run. I think 27 is like some of the highest you can get on here without really uh, risking losing the first stage. So this is technically there's really no limit to how many points you can get on a stage. Um, as long as you can stay away from the whale. Because you can just keep popping bubbles. But that is a very, very slow slow path. So I know I'm going to want to get in the walk bonus pretty early. I think I'm already satisfied for that one. But uh, you have to pop uh, like something like 50 bubbles for one bonus and blow 50 bubbles for another bonus. And jump 50 times for another bonus. That wasn't too bad. 44. On the bubbles here, keep bouncing, keep breaking. I definitely want that bonus right there. You can bounce off the bubbles by holding the button. People used to think that you had to press the button as you landed on the bubbles, but if you just jump and hold the button, you will bounce off them, which is a much more successful way to do that. And we'll go from here. And I just messed that one up, of course. Didn't get a didn't get a clean uniform pop on that one. This is a very bizarre game, but but so much fun as a kid. Fast bubbles. I should probably get the bonus treat over there, but it's okay. That's a full pop there. And bananas are only worth 500, so we're not going to worry about those. See what the bonus is there. That's good. Don't need any of those. So what I'll do is I'll just do that. Get rid of a few of them. That was a little bit of a waste there. But getting extra points for that is worth it. And then I'll get one more for him. Okay. 
Come on, buddy. There we go. That'll do it. Blow the bubbles. Get the bonus points. 150, that's pretty good. And I got those ones at the end there. Alright. So I know basic strategies for probably the first 50 or so levels. Um, after that, it starts to get a little more difficult. There's a candy cane. So if you ride the water, you won't get hit by any of the enemies. I just did that to not get hit by him so I could at least get one of those. So I'm just going to let this run out. Unless the uh, whale shows up, which I think he is pretty soon. There he is. Alright, I should take care of Oop, nope. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of him because... At least I get the bonus there. 190, pretty good. I should probably do some Robotron sometime too. I'll, get, I'll hook up two arcade sticks. Candy cane bonus. I just smash the middle. That was a good break. Get all the little bonuses in the bubbles. Get the high ones first. I get, I'm trying to get that one down, but... Alright, so I need the E. I'm gonna get them over here. I'll take the D2. Again, the purpose of getting them all on the same side. Oop, fireballs. This, green, uh, this crosses higher bonus points if you uh, kill the enemies with them. <laughs> uh, I'll let them drop out. Nine thousand point diamonds, and you only get like maybe fifteen or twenty of them. There is a different bonus that allows you to use them for like several stages in a row. Oh, see, All right, so that's an umbrella. Get the umbrella, and it skips stages according to the color. Um, I believe that is a three-stage skip, but I don't want it because I want po uh, points, which I just screwed up there. So if you see, there's two sets of bananas there. That means that I didn't, that one of them did not break properly. Now, I usually wait to see what the bonus is on this stage on the opposite side. Uh, and it is the shoe, which is very useful. I will definitely get that, but I gotta be careful here. Ah, oh, of course. All right, that's a reset. <clears throat> this is one of those games. Little bugger snuck out there at the end. All right. Seven. That was very good. Didn't uh, force quite as many bonuses there, but oh, I got. A lot of bonuses there. Put, puts me up much higher. I wonder if that, that stage may force the bonuses if you pop them before a warning or something like that. Good pop. Got everybody. I'll go with the watermelon. Believe 
watermelon is worth more than the uh, orange. Okay. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to break one of these two. That now looks like maybe both. But I definitely want the yellow candy to get the fast bubbles. The most important thing. Ah, I screwed that up. Okay. 100,000 is still pretty good. You probably get like 125 on here if you really maximize everything. Another blue candy. Alright, so that's pretty good there, all three of them there. Extra points. I'll wait for him to go. Oh, he got out of there, of course. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. You can see the sometimes the um, bonuses are are more um, uh, defined as when they're going to appear, depending on how how much you um, follow the the basic patterns of uh, forcing the bonuses. So like umbrellas will appear on, on usually on the same stage, the cross will usually appear on the same stage. A cross is actually appearing on a stage I don't normally see it on. It's usually a stage uh, further down. Okay, there's the umbrella again, same stage. Don't need it. Sneaker. Should appear on this stage, I believe. There it is. Oh, well, I actually got very lucky there because uh, he probably would have killed me. So normally here, jump over here, get in the middle, and then get everybody as they come down. And then I try to hold them here. But because they pop very, very early, I try to keep them. And then another yellow candy, I'll take that. more annoying earlier stages, but if you fall down into those um, side compartments, you have a chance of getting stuck, which... Okay, 
but because it's early enough, I'm just going to wind up doing this. And then I get out of here, and I get the bonus. But you don't want to get stuck in there when the whale comes after you. Very deliberate strategies. Getting him stuck in with the rest of them, maximizing points. I'm going to let that go. So there's a way to get in here, but I usually like to clear it out a little bit to start. So I do this. Sometimes it takes out all of them like that, oh yeah, see? All in one shot. <clears throat> Sometimes there's a good bonus in the middle there. That was, uh, you know, just letting the stage go for uh, going through the motions. This stage I like to drop down here. Ooh, wow, they started much earlier there. So that sucks. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's reset. High score challenges. Can't get a high score if you uh, don't get uh, don't get at least 50 stages without dying. <clears throat> so there must be a, a difficulty setting slightly different here because usually they don't start moving until you're dropping, and uh, when they do, you can bubble them on the way down and uh, set up a, a pretty good pop early on. But I'll have to remember that now. Whatever these default settings are. I don't think I can get both of them, so... Nope. Okay. So, as long as you break 25,000 there, it's pretty good. See, that time it didn't do it. So I, I've i never looked up the strategies for the uh, fruit bonus out of the bubbles that drop. So, don't know why. Sometimes it just does it. And also, the more enemies that you pop at once, the more bonus letters show up on the next stage. So if you pop four, you'll get three, two, you'll get, you know, or three, you'll get two. But uh, as somebody was saying before, the water slide bonuses come with the, uh, uh, give you the umbrellas, which skips you further along. Um, that does get you to diamond levels faster, which diamond levels are where you get the most points. But overall, you don't get as many points. Sometimes I can manage to avoid breaking those if I don't need the letters that show up, but... I broke both of them there, but at least I got the full bonus. Not gonna be able to get all the fruit though. Need both of those. And alright, so I do need that E, but I don't necessarily want to get it on this stage. Because I'd rather use it on a stage that's a little more difficult to get out of jail there. Um, But I may not have a choice. Oop, got him. And then I blow the extra bubbles there. And I get more uh, Sundays, I guess those are. So that was a pretty good run on that one. And now there's going to be more letters showing up here. But I'm just going to avoid them all for as long as I can because lives don't matter. <laughs> Going for high, high scores. Gotta be careful there. Or I can just let him run. Get some extra points here. Give him the water slide for his troubles. Ooh, he almost got me there. That should get him if he jumps. Good. 
And see, it didn't give me any... I wonder if you have to do it before the whale, then. Because it didn't give me any drops. Usually this stage gives you drops uh, out of the bubbles for extra points. And there's a green pepper, which is not a lot of points from what I remember. Anything healthy in this game is not a lot of points. Alright, so now the cross appeared a stage earlier, which is interesting. And you definitely want to bubble up at the end of every stage as much as you can. Just just add a couple hundred points here and there. I don't want to get everybody on one side. Chicken leg. Another shoe. It's just worth points. I don't remember if you get anything for multiple shoes. Good pop. And I think by doing all the criteria for the bonuses, that if you were to die, they'll come back in a specific order um, immediately. So you can get back to having like the fastest and best uh, powers. So, I need... I don't need any of those, so I'm just gonna go. Sounds good. Got Shoe comes in handy here. Let's go back up here. Wait for the bonus, and if it's something worth it, I'll get it. Candy cane. Alright, we'll do that. This stage always drops strawberries. Um... I think, regardless, this is dangerous here because they pop so quickly. God damn it. Alright. Reset. Hamburger. Let's see, 2,000 points for a hamburger and 10 points for a green pepper. That tells you right there that they were uh, encouraging uh, fast food consumption. Tell why this song gets stuck in your head for 30 years, because it just doesn't stop. Oh god, I want to do that. Slip of the finger there. Blue treat. Alright, see there? Give me, uh... I don't think those are... I think those are hot dogs on a stick. This game is amazing. The pixel art in this game is like... what, like, started the entire concept, I think. You can see I only got two bonus letters that time because I did not pop all of them at once. No bonus. Still a good run. 70,000 is good on this one. Alright, so right now I don't have the long what I have. Oh yeah, I don't have the, the green, uh, yellow yet. Shit. Okay, now I have the yellow. I'll grab the french fries before they disappear. Bubble up just in case there's bonus. Good pop. Yep, 100,000 is a good one on this one, too. Okay, I need all those letters. And didn't want to do that. Especially with the blue treat. Blue Treat is definitely the best one to get. I, I forget if it's which of the action bonuses uh, forces them 
Uh, but it is the best one to get because it gives you um, the walk bonus, which is highly preferred. I'm gonna waste time on these. It's already pushed them along. Get him on the way back. Come on. <laughs> Alright. And again, a bonus there. So that wasn't very good. You want like 125,000 on this one. Eggplant. Let's see how much that's worth. Like a hundred, probably, right? Twenty. See, look at that. Healthy stuff is not worth anything. No eggplant farm for these guys. All right, so I got the walk bonus. I got everything that I need now. I'm fully powered up. This is a level four Super Saiyan dragon. Cake, definitely gonna be worth a lot. Candy cane. It's actually not really a candy cane, it's just a cane. That is a good bonus run right there. Nice, and the grapes are worth a lot more. Alright, so I gotta get rid of these guys quick. I don't have any... Okay, I can get out of here with the extend. I have everything that I need there. Blue tree, though. Oh, God, I want that. Got it. Alright, so now if I'm careful here, uh, I can get rid of these guys. Or I can just go with the extend. That was a great run on that stage. All the bonuses. Might be able to get those. Got them. It's only left 500 points on the board. Not bad. That was a good one. Hello, treat. Alright, so there's no real big bonus here, so I'm just going to get out of here with the uh, extra life. Probably left about 20,000 points on the board there, but we're doing okay. So I haven't played this in a long time. My, my confidence of my accuracy isn't too high. A martini, I believe, in there. Okay, alright, this is good. Alright, not bad. Nice, alright. Shit, I couldn't set myself up there to get, uh, to get him on the first shot, but that's alright. Alright, so the candy cane I can get by doing this. Perfect. Look at that. That was a perfect run right there, I think. Pretty perfect. Alright, so this is the one that killed me last time. See, so like, like, waited a little bit extra there. Now, this is usually the stage where the cross appears. A lot of enemies right now. Careful of him, because he can... Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. <clears throat> okay. Let's go back to that. I think it was this one.
try it again. Did it screw up my buttons? Yeah, look at that. Didn't save my buttons. Don't need that, I guess. Oh, yeah, if you want to beat the game, you do. Yeah, so doing uh, doing pretty poorly actually right now. Normally I'm uh, first run I get at least like 20 boards without dying, and then like 40 on the second run. in a bubble or two. Missed that one. Alright. Blue candy off the bat. And I messed that up. Awesome. Alright, it's okay. about 5,000 points on there. This is the stage where you get the yellow candy. So I guess whatever my last run was, the blue candy, I definitely want that. Gets me one step closer to the walk bonus. Uh, so definitely something um, when you reset does hold in memory. Okay. 
what was that, like a chestnut or something like that up there? Like, what could that possibly be? Hershey Kiss? Alright, so I don't want the umbrella because that'll skip me stages. Don't want to skip stages. I want points. If I was trying to beat the game, I would hit as many umbrellas as possible. Alright, so the E, I don't want. So I'm going to bring them on this side. And there's the sneakers. Yeah, so the E would give me the extra life, and then I would lose the points I get here. So it's 8,000, 10,000, 11,000, 15, almost 15,000 extra points that I would have missed. E again, so I'm going to kind of race to the bottom after I get the treat and just pop them. Good pop. Look at that. Ice cream cones. Out the ass. Excellent run. Alright. Now if this is a blue uh, candy, I definitely got to get it. That's not, so I'm not going to bother risking it. I wasted, like, almost all of those. Not too bad. 300,000 by here is actually very, very good. I'm probably just going to get out of here. Right there. There we go. I forget what the, uh, the crystal does, but not going to find out because there's an E I didn't want. Awesome. Even getting good stuff in this game can be a uh, disadvantage if you're going for high score. High score is all that matters. Anybody can keep putting credits in and beat the game. Alright, back on the whales here. I, damn it, I don't want to do that, but that's alright. Okay. Alright, I want that blue candy. So I gotta position myself perfectly. Jump, and then it break. Ah, yes. So that water slide brings me through the, f um, the part of the heart on the top there. Otherwise, if you do it normally, you can't. See, I could I definitely could have. Oh, see, there's the cross. This is, again, this is where it typically is. Okay, so we haven't gotten to this stage yet. This stage is usually a potion stage, uh, if it's following the normal pattern. Uh, ooh, it's the walk bonus. Great. This would be a great stage to get it. And I screwed it up. I want to try to bounce up in there to get it. Alright, let's try again. Slow. So I think what it's keeping in memory is the order of certain things, because sometimes when you actually, I think when you reset, it's different than if you if you lose the game, because it will give you a bonus on this stage, uh, which appears right over here. But if it doesn't, that means it should be a fresh start. A little bit low on that one. Okay. 
Okay, following the same pattern as the previous run. No pop bonuses. Weird. Okay, run on that one. Oh, how'd that happen? That sucked. Faster bubbles. Good pop, but I don't have the shoes, so I'm probably not going to really get the... Yeah, I can get the last one. That's alright, though. It's good. Okay, I need those. And all those. And I didn't want that. God damn it. I'm just going to assume that's beer over there. It's just a stein of beer. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, come on. You really wanted that. And just let them run down. So I can get, I can get more points if I hit them with the water slides. But, of course, it becomes more dangerous to play. I have to rebubble them. Shit, they're going to get me, aren't they? Of course. short break <clears throat> and I will be back All right, let's try this again. That was strange. Right. 
left a lot of void there, but that's okay. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Can't outsmart me. Oh, that sucked. Still running okay. Alright, so... <clears throat> the end will take me out of the board, but I want to at least get the shoe first. Let's see if I can do anything here before I take off. Oh, that was good. Alright. Good enough. Would have preferred a uh, bonus on that one, though. Oh no! That was too early. better. Alright, let's see what's coming my way. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh, I got these. Yeah, I gotta be careful because they're gonna pop. Blue treat. Alright, so I think the next time will be the walk bonus. Almost. So this stage will be a bad stage to get the walk bonus. And there it is, of course. Alright, so I'm just gonna milk it a little bit here. Good thing I got the one whale trapped over there. Alright, so. <clears throat> Gotta just be careful here because the whale is coming. Gives me a lot of area to. Uh, avoid him. You can see the points are just, I mean, piling on because of the walk bonus. Over here. So the whale is invincible, and he has a specific pattern. He will go the easiest direction to get to you. Um, but he obviously um, gets faster as he goes, but I'm going to try to get this to about 250,000. And you can still walk bonus after the stage is completed, you get a little extra, but that was pretty, pretty solid there. Thank you. 
Alright, so we're right back on track with that early, early walk bonus. That was very good. <clears throat> Get all those guys trapped. Candy cane. So, it might be just worth doing this, but let's see if we can get this. There we go. So you can use the bubbles to go up against walls <laughs> and then pop them by uh, proxy, basically. The stick response on this. Alright, so I don't want to get the greeny, because that'll take me out of this point. This is an easy, bo easy points. Alright, the shoe. Don't really... Don't need the shoe. That's okay. Um, the stick response is um, a little bit different on the one that I have than in the arcade. You, you can't quite turn without moving forward at all. In the arcade, you can like just tap it so it doesn't move. Should be the uh, cross on this stage. There it is. Let them drop. Get the extra points for the for the fireballs. All right, so this is where we were last time, where I wanted the uh, walk bonus, which is pointless. So what I can do here, I can blow bubbles up, and I can pop those. Ooh, potion! So I can actually get rid of them and get the potion before it hits. So. <laughs> the potion fills the board up with um, with uh, candy or treats or whatever, um, and you have to collect them all before time runs out, and it gives you a uh, big ass bonus. Some stages are harder than others. Some stages are virtually impossible, um, and some stages only have like one or two. All right, so we haven't seen this stage yet uh, in tonight's run, but I know it well. I usually like to get them all up in the up in the top. Oh, <laughs> so that was a blue cross, blue cross blue shield, <clears throat> um, which uh, fills the board with water. It's called the Great Flood. Sorry, I'm not going to explain how I do that real quick because that is a, a very particular trick for the stage. Shit. Ooh, that was close. All right. Oh yeah, and this right lightning. So the lightning goes across the screen. It doesn't kill you, but it does pause your movement if you're not careful. Um, but it is cool for killing bad guys to get extra points because they they become diamonds. But I'm not going to mess around too much anymore. Alright, this stage is kind of tricky because it's hard to predict where they're going to move, so you want to drop down early on, hope that there's usually the flood bonuses on this stage, but you want, alright, so there's a shoe here, so it's not really a, <clears throat> not really an important stage, so if I had like a letter or something like that to get the, um, to get the bonus, uh, extra life, I would use that right away, you can also use the, um, water bubbles to get rid of them, get you more points on this stage, because it's really hard to maximize points on this stage. You definitely always want to ride the water slide because <clears throat> it protects you from the enemies. But I, I jump around a lot trying to get maximized points. Come on. There we go. Okay, so next stage. Alright, this is another annoying stage. Is these columns, these pink columns. <clears throat> um, so basically, let's see. And there's a legume up there. Alright, so if I can get that heart, this is why a lot of people think uh, player two side is better. Um, because a lot of bonuses appear on player two side. Um, Alright. That heart would uh, make me invincible, and it would pause the movements of all the, uh, the whales. Uh, but it makes them fall down into the columns. Uh, if you get trapped in the column, uh, you can't get out, and the beluga will, uh, the white beluga will come out. 
I'm calling it a beluga, yes. Okay, so this stage, stage 20, this is the first stage that a portal will appear. I do not want that letter E. If I get that letter E, I will be screwed. Um, what I do want is to water... Wow. Unbelievable. That was unbelievable. Okay, so there's the portal. <coughs> um, which brings you to the dive orb. We'll check that out real quick. <coughs> so, this is the... the diamond board that I was referring to. Um, lots of extra points here. Um, typically, you don't want to die before getting a portal, because now the next time it's available, uh, it will not show up. So that sucked. And we're going to do another run. Hope you're enjoying the bubble owl. I'll be right back. Let's try again. Uh, depending on the bonus on the beginning of the stage, the value there will dictate whether or not you can break 25,000. Oh, that was crap. Okay, so that wasn't very good there. lost at least 5,000 points on that one. Okay. Again, following a similar pattern. And I... Hmm. I was holding the button there, and it wound up not working. <clears throat> Buttons might be becoming less responsive. Too much tapping. Crap. And, okay, cool. So that's the shoes, that's the walk bonus. Didn't want to do that, but not much of a choice. Perfect pop. And all the bonuses. Even got the pops and bubbles at the end there. Alright, we're right back where we should be. 
Nom Nom Hamburger. The yellow bonus. Son of a bitch. Gotta remember that I don't have any range on these bubbles right now, which is uh, more useful against the ghosts. Because sometimes you have to time it so they throw their boulder. Candy cane. Take a little ride here. Alright, that was actually pretty easy. Shit! Shit! Shit, shit, shit. shit. Reset. There's some dumb mistakes early on. Yeah, look at that. $2,000 hamburger. Or 2,000 points. Good pop there. Now break twenty five thousand. Not bad, twenty six thousand. Blue candy. Again, no no uh, no pop bonus on the stage for a while. I got I gotta look that up. I know there's walkthroughs for this for everything. Everything kind of on that side. Okay, that gives you the distance. Everything about this game is just a masterpiece. Oh, look at that. It's getting drunk tonight. Okay. Didn't get to get everything, but better than you would normally without the walk bonus. Or without the, um, pop bonus. Got a donut over here. I think it's a donut. Another blue treat. That's good. I'm actually doing very good on this run. I'm up about 25,000 from what I usually am. Hot dog. Hello, treat. Alright, so we're gonna see if I can get some some real bonus out of this stage, but shit. I'm gonna have to just wind up walking through. Okay, so wind up losing a little bit on that one. So I want to wipe them out early because I want to see that they get the candy cane. There it is. Now I can actually wipe them out. That was actually a perfect run right there. Nice. <laughs> 
All right, walk blocks, that's good. $2,000 hamburger. The way things are going, $2,000 for a hamburger might not be unrealistic. Alright, so now that locks in the walk bonus for the next next time I get it. Good pop. But I gotta be careful not to get the letter T. This would not be such a good stage to get the walk bonus. Because the ghosts are somewhat annoying, and of course, there it is. So now I have to rebubble everyone but one and then try to abuse this as much as I can. Alright, so now I locked in a decent amount of points so I don't un. <clears throat> uh, should I say, like, waste the walk bonus. So I'm just gonna try to keep him where he is. Okay, so didn't really get too too much value out of that, but it was decent. Not as much as I would have hoped. Like plant, not worth anything. Time to start. Candy cane. I gotta pay attention here. Shit. And oh, god damn it. Of course when they get out of the bubbles they're faster. <clears throat> Which makes them more annoying to deal with. See, and there's cake. Why? I do not know. Alright, that was very good actually. too hasty, but uh, I would like to get to some, some of the further levels, levels, and it's just not worth attempting a high score unless you get at least two diamond levels, because you're not going to get more than a million points, and we're shooting for like three million tonight. Forgot. <laughs> 
Don't have the walk bonus yet, which sucks. Shit! Well, that sucked. <clears throat> uh, yes, the walk bonus. Very important. That's why I gotta walk more in the beginning. You gotta walk more in general. Keep your heart healthy. Ah, fuck that up. There's 16,000 points of uh, Terrible. Uh, this stage has been very annoying recently. I don't want to get that T just yet. I want that. Just get out of here. Very strange. Some corn. Walk bonus. That's what I want. Only 150 for the corn. I guess it couldn't really decide whether or not it was healthy or not. So they give it a more than a $20 value. Shit. There we go. 
What's going on? There we go. Come on. Just in time. All right. Nice. No good out of jail free card here. And candy candy. All right. Let's see. That was kind of lucky there. Good point so far. Shit. That was good. Collect all those. That was almost death there. Let's get him up here. Sometimes I'm not optimizing these pops, but don't have much of a choice. That was good. Bubbles. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Damn. Gotta get the blue diamonds quickly because they vanish faster. So, that was so far the least optimal run I've had on this particular level. But I have points <coughs> that are actually much higher than I usually do. Son of a bitch, I didn't even see him. Alright, let's give one more run. It's been a particularly bad night. I've had some really solid runs up to the point of dying which would have given me a better chance to break through a million. But overall, playing very sloppily. And again, I'm not playing on the arcade simulated, so sometimes there's a little bit of a discrepancy uh, in the reaction time. Didn't really milk that stage for bonuses. Thank you. 
Alright, so I broke the 100,000 mark. That's good. But I need that damn walk bonus. Definitely need to walk on this though. I shouldn't say the walk on us, I should say the, sh the sneakers. Ooh, that was close. Son of what the hell was that? I hit the wrong button. Unbelievable. My bubble bobble discipline is uh, not uh, not very strong tonight. It's because I'm being a little bit too hasty on these first stages, not forcing out as much as I can here by walking around and blow bubbles and jump in and pop bubbles and all that kind of stuff. You want to get the bonuses as soon as you possibly can. The walk. Sorry, the um, sneakers um, appear when you walk uh, like 15 screen widths, I believe it's, <sighs> it's stated. It's like 50 bubbles here and there for certain things, and 50 jumps. Okay. I wonder if you beat the stage in under a certain amount of time, maybe it gives you the, bonus, the drop bonus on that stage. Another little thing I haven't mentioned yet is that uh, you can push bubbles with your face, and you can pop them with the spikes on your back. That is a useful thing. So you, you'll notice I'll, I'll jump and change directions in here. It's because I'm trying to mo either move something around or maybe pop something specific <laughs> without popping other things. But if the bubbles are too close to each other, they cause a chain reaction. Shit, that was a mistake. I've, I have not done that in a good day. How long? gonna fuck me up. So we're just gonna get whatever we can here. Yeah, that was a particularly bad run. Didn't want to do that. Lost 20 some thousand points there. Okay. 
a little bit better next time. There's all little weird inconsistencies. With, I shouldn't say inconsistencies, but there's like... Oh, shit. There's little differences that happen. Like, sometimes the enemies will break... Uh, will, will start moving earlier than they do on the stage. Um, and certain things cause the, um, the bubble breaks to happen earlier in the round. This is probably going to be like the walk bonus on the stage or something. There it is. So, I'm going to get rid of these guys. Get the points for them. Lock them in. And then milk the walk bonus for like 50,000 points. drop to a lower level and you hold the jump button, you will jump the instant that you hit that platform, which is very, very useful. Being able to move, like, in tiny little spurts. Uh, see, I, I don't want... Oh, jeez, he got out. Um, it's very useful in this game. Um, but not being able to turn, like, I'm trying to... I want, I want to see, like, I can't turn perfectly without him moving in any direction. Bounces back. This might be a potion on the stage. There it is. Shit. I 
That worked out. So again, last time I was on the stage, the water, uh, the flood showed up, um, and I wound up not realizing it. All right, so now this this gets a little tricky if you don't have um, some kind of a an all kill bonus on this stage, because then they get all cooped up here, and then you wind up having to risk jumping in at them, and then this happens. But that wasn't too bad. Definitely can do much better on that stage when you have uh, an all kill. Shit. That's weird. Like I never mess that timing up in the arcade, but that was particularly uh, particularly bad. Okay, so there's the heart. I'm gonna try to coax him. And I think they turn into like pineapples when you get this. If I remember correctly. No. I forget which one is. One of them they turn into pineapples. Alright. Annoying stage. Alright, so nothing doing there. Ooh, that was close. Did a little reverse there. Get him up to the top, then a little easier. There we go. Right. So, made up a little bit for our points there. Now, again, this stage. Gotta be very careful. Don't want to fall in the uh, in the tunnels here, or the, uh, the whatever that is. Looks like a menorah. All right, so this is the portal stage. <clears throat> uh, I totally botched it last time, so let's get rid of these guys. <clears throat> and you want to get a water uh, slide to bring you to the left side of the screen when you drop there to make it easier. So that means you gotta take one from the right side of the screen. Perfect. Alright, so now this is going to bring me close to a million. Which is pretty good. Usually on here you get right about a minute. There it is. Yeah. A million by here is, is perfect. Not perfect, but like... Um, fairly um, optimized. So this stage... You just kind of hang out. This is the perfect stage for the walk bonus. Um, Alright, so I'm going to get the Great Flood here. Wipes out everybody and gives you like several thousand point diamonds. Um, there's better ways to do that. Let's see if I can do this. Perfect. You want to get all these guys in the uh, potion box in the middle. Sometimes the stage is a potion um, itself. Um, let's see. I right, walk bonus. So. Nothing too special, spectacular here. I'm not going to bother trying to get the either one of the bonuses. Just going to let them come into the tube, into the beaker. And pop everybody at once. There we go. Some french fries. And pretty good job on that stage. Okay. You want to bubble everybody as fast as you can on this one to start. A lot of times this is a, a, a stage with a clock that pauses uh, the enemies. Let's see. Okay. I'll take that. And then... Nah, I didn't, didn't get everybody there. They moved at the last second. But overall, not too bad. I'm not going to jump up there and get that. Uh, this one, <coughs> this stage, uh, fire bubbles drop down. So when you pop the bubble, it drops a little fire uh, thing onto the bottom of the screen. And when the enemies hit them, they become valuable diamonds. This is going to be annoying, though. 
I want to kind of... There we go. No fire yet, because i got too many bubbles on the screen. Okay. That sucks. Maybe we'll start coming now. Alright, there's one, but I'm not going to really get to use them. That sucks. There's some. And this also drops a bunch of uh, bonuses, which I did not exploit. Because <coughs> uh, it was getting a little bit dangerous there. Uh, this stage, I like to use the fire... Oh, they're like moving fast. I like to use the fire on this stage. Um, but it's a little bit tricky. They're being stubborn right now. Try to like bounce off of something to get stay above them, and then rain fire. Ooh, that was lucky. And you can see they're just gonna eat up all that fire. Perfect. Ah, oh, shit. Of course. Hmm, that could have been a lot better. <clears throat> Another bit of an annoying stage because of the closeness of the, um, the the platforms here, and they move around in a very unpredictable manner. Definitely want to get the. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of hover in the middle there. That's pretty good. So now I gotta go like another bunch of stages. Oh, this is an easy one. So they all just jump in the middle, but you gotta be careful that you don't. Oh wow! See, yeah, they're behaving differently here. So the difficulty level actually might be a little bit harder than what I usually play on, because they normally just drop right down. And that guy is just being a real jerk up there. Where the hell is he going? I'm just gonna rebubble on here. Whoa! Of course. Of course. Alright. So, it don't look like I'm getting through a million tonight. <clears throat> um. Uh, yeah, so I'm assuming that my normal difficulty level is probably easier than this one. <clears throat> <clears throat> so. I'm going to reset one more time, see what I can do here. But I'm kind of learning um, how they behave on this. <clears throat> but I did notice that they were moving around a little bit faster, so that should have... <clears throat> that should have uh, tipped me off that they were going to behave differently. <clears throat> yeah, I think because the, the, the default difficulty level might be set like it, like medium. I don't know how many difficulty settings there are. But the fact that the one guy was like just like kind of jumping up on the top corner there. Nah. That sucked. That's terrible. That's about half of what you should be getting on that stage. <clears throat> no, the um the umbrella only gets you further through the game. You wind up... I mean, you get the diamond levels, but... You don't get all the points for all the boards that you're missing. Yeah, three diamond boards, but you miss like a million points on the other boards. If you can get through all the boards without dying, you maximize the score. There's like three diamond boards, and then there's a, a warp, uh, warp board. I think one more diamond board. Yeah, 
Yeah, you, you have to get the three diamond words, but you gotta do it, like, the hard way, though. Of course, the letters I don't need. I do need that, however. That was good. 100k plus. Um, yeah, it, it, depending on how many water slides you get dictates how many, um, stages, uh, the umbrella will take you, uh, and the color of the umbrella, I should sp specify. Um, but I don't, I don't want to skip stages. I mean, unless I need to get out of a stage, because I'm, you know, not in a like, good position. <clears throat> It's a pomegranate over there. Of course. Uh-oh. Got him anyway. Good. Maximizing the points there. Odd that the ghosts are not throwing the uh, the boulders at me really. <clears throat> now, I mean, I can go through like I mean, I think my record is like 56 levels um, without dying. Um, it's just that again, I'm I'm not playing on an actual arcade machine, which causes some issues with the buttons, but, um, shit. What is it? What is it one time? One time what? I don't remember what I said. Oh, blue treat. Need it. Ooh, that was close. That was good, though. Uh, 56. Um, I've probably broken 50 multiple times, but 56, I think, was my best. Oh, there's the walk bonus. Alright, so I'm gonna keep the... Ah, shit. Didn't want that much of a trail there, man. Not gonna get to use this. It sucks. Yeah, I'm actually doing, like, particularly bad. Alright, so the X will get me out of here. Let's see what the bonus is. Alright, so I don't want the umbrella. And... I don't know, did I get points for those? I don't know if you get points if you pop the one up while you actually pop the enemies. No, three diamond words you get at 50 levels, I think. You get like 20, 35, and like 45 or something like that. Alright. 
It's too close to the side there. I'd be like right here, perfect. That was good. Um, if you use the umbrellas after 20, you're still not going to be able to maximize your your points. you got to play as many stages as possible. Watch out for this asshole. I'm kind of giving it points here, but I want to see if it... No, no potion. Huh. Didn't give me the bonus. that one jump bonus yes all right so I'm gonna get rid of as many of these guys as I can and then just jump bonus for a while Come on. Now, of course There's definitely a trick to, like, keep him from moving. You want to get him to be further from you in a certain... If I... Yeah. This is getting a little bit, a little bit risky now. Shit. Alright. That sucked. <clears throat> yeah, 500,000. Not a good score. Let me say we give it one more try. Let's see if Mike. Let me see if Mike Metro wants to come on. at that time. Let's see what happens here. If this gives me a bonus on this stage before, then I know it's kept the previous game memory. It is not. Okay. Good pop. Okay. 
So I am over 100,000 points shy of the previous time I got the Diamond Woods. That's not good. <clears throat> but there's still time to make it up. Use the lightning bolts. Get rid of these guys. Get a lot of points. 8,000 point diamond. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, lightning bolt cross. Uh, I get it. So if you get lightning bolt cross and they're in the bubble, you don't get the friggin' you don't get the diamonds for them, which sucks. I keep fucking this up. Are you serious? Oh, are you fucking serious? Oh my god. That has never happened. Unbelievable. Alright. <clears throat> so it looks like a million is all I'm doing tonight. I'll try this again another night. Uh very frustrating, but start doing some more of these old school games, and when I mean old school, I mean like oldest school, like definitely going to do some Robotron. Uh, Alright, um, so as always, check us out, Combat Network, we stream big tournaments when uh, there isn't a quarantine. <clears throat> We do streams during the week, and we hopefully, if everything goes well, and things start going back to normal, we will have a tournament July 11th, Newark Airport. <clears throat> it's going to be everything we can possibly do MK in one day. Uh, multiple streams, it's right in a hotel, um, it will be... A fun-filled day for everyone. Uh, and it will determine whether or not we want to run more of these in the future. So, I hope to see you there. It's called Revolution. It's the alternative to Evo, which is Evolution. Uh, since there will be no main stage Mortal Kombat uh, at Evo this year. Again, this is all um, pending on whether or not society goes back to normal uh, by July. Um, obviously, hopefully much sooner than that, um, you know, for the sake of everyone who is suffering with this, <clears throat> so, um, alright, well, see you then, thank you for watching.